My name is Dan Moore. I'm a final year student at the University of Wolverhampton. Uh, my project is to create a block-based robotic platform that secondary school kids can program. Whereas traditional methods of programming are a bit more complicated and difficult, the block-based system allows our effectively 11, 12 year olds to be able to do university grade work even if they haven't had any prior experience in the subject. The user operates it primarily through the Nexus software, what's a custom piece of software I've developed myself, uh, designed in C-sharp and makes use of the Google Blockly. So there's a number of blocks like a Reset Robot and Move Server 2 that the kids drag onto the screen, allowing them to make quite complicated motion really easily, and opposed to having to know this is Servo 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. It's just head, left shoulder, left arm in a drop-down menu so the kids can just click what they want, move it to where they want it to go, and it's just done. So the program I've got at the moment makes the robot walk forward, which is arguably one of the most complicated movement sequences you can get a bipedal robot to do. This was developed by one of my year eight students, which is crazy when you think about it. I couldn't, I couldn't get the robot to do this using traditional methods at all. Over about, it took me three weeks to be able to make it do something half as good as that. It took him two hours. There's a speak block in the Nexus that allows the user to pass a string to the Windows text-to-speech function. This lets our kids be able to make the robot talk. Hello. I undertook this project primarily because it's something I enjoy. Um, I wanted to get into robotics. It's always a passion of mine. It's why I started first doing uh, computer science. And I found that kids really react well to movement in programs. As I work in a school, I found that the kids don't react well to traditional methods. So making a calculator in Java, they find it boring and mundane. Whereas something like this is a bit more flashy. The kids react really well to it. They look forward to the lessons, whereas previously, because they thought computer science was a boring subject, they didn't really enjoy it. This allows them to be able to program it in a relatively easy to use environment.